Government influence on industry. Government macroeconomic policies like monetary policies and fiscal policies impact an organization and need to be analyzed. Monetary policies are where the government adjusts the money supply, interest rate, exchange rates and availabilities of credit. Fiscal policies are where the government adjusts taxation, public spending and public borrowing. Monetary policy is the process by which the government and central bank controls the supply of money, for example through government's printing money. The availability of money, for example reserve requirements, what proportion of money deposited by customers may banks lend to other customers, and cost of money, for example through interest rates, which in turn affects the level of investment and expenditure of organisations and the general public. Low interest rates will stimulate the economy as it's cheaper to borrow and savings don't earn as much interest. Fiscal policy looks at the balance between government income, which is taxation and borrowing, and expenditure. To stimulate the economy, governments can spend more money. Raised expenditure needs to be funded by either raising taxes or increasing borrowing. Raising taxes will reduce the amount that the public has to spend, resulting in low economic growth. Increasing borrowing can result in faster economic growth, but too much stimulus can cause inflation as consumers compete for resources, and a high rate of inflation could depress consumer demand and make it difficult for an organisation to plan because of the uncertainty of future financial returns. The government balances income expenditure and borrowing. Income arises mainly from taxation. If the government wants to spend more, it either has to increase its income from taxes or through borrowing. The financial crisis has shown that many governments have created very high borrowings and to reduce these, particularly in Europe, austerity measures have been introduced, with governments forced to reduce expenditure. In most Western countries, government expenditure comprises a large proportion of all expenditure, so government policies and spending decisions have a very powerful effect on organisations. As seen in the PESTLE analysis, the government can influence industries in many ways. Porter identifies seven of these ways as capacity expansion, demand, divestment and exit, emerging industry controlled by governments, entry barriers, competition policy and new product adoption. Capacity expansion. Governments are responsible for infrastructure, for example roads and railways used by industry. Governments may offer incentives or impose restrictions on certain industries. Demand. Governments may be a major customer of an industry. Legislative measures may influence demand, for example tax reliefs or tax imposed on certain industry products. Divestment and exit. Government may prevent the sale of an organisation in a specific industry if it's in the public's interest. Emerging industries may be controlled by the government, for example mobile phone networks. Entry barriers. Government policy may restrict or encourage investment. Competition policy. For example, monopoly regulations. New product adoption. Regulation of certain products, for example in the drugs industry. Strategic planners need to be aware of the ways that macroeconomic policies can impact on the economy. Firstly, macroeconomic policies can affect aggregate demand. Aggregate demand is the demand for goods and services in the economy. Aggregate demand which is too low may result in unemployment while aggregate demand which is too high may result in inflation. Changes in aggregate demand need to be taken into consideration when forecasting sales. The more stable a government, the easier it is for an organisation to plan. Secondly, macroeconomic policies such as fiscal and monetary policies can influence the cost of the business sector. For example, exchange rates, taxation levels and interest rates.